Hi everyone, this video is to show you how to design a PEF antenna in ADS. Okay, so once you design the PEF antenna in ADS, so I will show you the return loss S11 and the speed chart 50 ohm. Okay, so it's near to 50 ohm. And then also the gain and the gain of the antenna follow the fre frequency. And then after that, the radiation pattern okay you can view from to uh, polar plot or you can do view in 3d okay so you also can see the current surface view the current surface here and then you can play the animate so you can see the radiation is radiate until the whole patch so from here if we choose like one gigahertz so you can see the signal is reflected from after the feed line here okay that doesn't go to the Hash. Okay, why? Because the return loss of the 1 gigahertz is almost reflected back. Okay, so we're going to start using the CST dimension. Okay, so the, for the patch, and then we will design in ADS. Okay, so first we are going to close everything, then we will start it again. Alright, so close it. Okay, then we go to like open new workspace so we can create. Alright, so we open a layout here. Then we name it like lab 2. Okay, so create a layout, then choose the millimeter layout resolution. So click on finish. Okay, then we will follow the dimension here. So we know that our patch is the width will be like 38.39 and the length will be like 29.77. However, we have a slot here so we can design the patch rectangular until here first. Okay, that means 29.77 will minus with 5 of this slot. Okay, so it will be like 24.77. So we can just easily click on the rectangular here and just pull it, something like this, right, so click on escape, then double click on the rectangular and you can see the result, the width and the height is here, so we know that it's like 38.39 and the length will be 24.77, okay, and then this two is starting coordinate is 0, that means it will be here, the point, 0, 0, okay, then we will have a rectangular here now, alright. Then we're going to design another one is the slot here. Is we know that the height will be like 5 mm and the length will be 9.2 here. Okay. So we can click on the rectangular here and you can just easily like pull it. Okay. And then we double click on here and we make it like coordinate starting from 0 and 0. And here will be the width will be like 9.2 mm and the height will be like 5. So we put it negative 5. Okay, so it's somewhere here. Then we can click on this rectangular and copy, paste to this side. Okay, we can zoom in. Alright. So done. Okay, that's good. And then if you want to check the using the ruler, we can click on insert. We can click on dimension, so we can click on let's say here to here. Okay, so we can see it's 9.2, same as the dimension here, 9.2. Okay, so next, we're going to create the feed line here. So we know the feed line will be, the width will be 3.11 here, and the length will be 17.29, this side. Plus weight 5, so it will be like 22.29. Alright, so we're going to create it. Click on the rectangular here. Just click on any way here, then we can adjust again. Then escape. Click on the fit line. Then we know it's like 3.11. And here will be like 22.29. Okay, next. How we know the way we're going to start? So here, of course, the height will be. 
pointing here, so it will be like the same, negative 2.29. So we can see it's going up here, linked together, and here will be like we need to calculate its like We're going to start at this point here. This side. Okay, so how are we going to know about this point? So we know the total of the 38.39. If we divide 2, the point will be in the middle here. Okay, and then we need to move another one will be like 3.11 divided by 2. Okay, so we can use the calculator. Okay, so we know that we have like 38.39 divided by 2 minus with 3.11 divided by 2. Okay, so we have like 17.64. So our starting point will be 17.64. So here now is in the middle. You also can use the Lulu. The dimension here to check it. Let's say here. Here, okay, and here and here. Is it the same value? Eight point five and here is uh, eight point four. Maybe some way. Okay, here is uh, a bit longer. All right. Oops. So let me pull it back here. So it's eight point four. Okay, so it's the same. All right. Now you're done for the patch design. Then you need to design for the pot. So you can click the pot from here. Okay. You need to put a fifty ohm SMA pot in ADS as well. So the pot is here. You just click on this. Okay. Then you zoom in. Control R. And then put it must be link connected. Okay, if you see here it's not connected, so we just go to inside. Okay, then escape. Alright, now you have your port here. So everything is done for your design. Then you go to the EM setting simulation. If you want to click on simulate, they're not allowed to simulate because you haven't do the setup. So click yes. Then we can use the template and get a template. It's fine, they will help you to generate the graph. But create, okay, here. Now they can have mentioned here is like your subshack. You don't have your subshack. And your port is here, but your frequency. So let's say we check on frequency 1, 2, 3 gigahertz. And then we can use like linear, okay. Then we can set the stack. So we let's say we want like 0 0.01, okay. So it's like 201 point. And the subtract will be we create new because we need to have a FR4. So our subtract is like FR4. Okay, we can name it FR4 is fine. Create. Okay, how are we going to define this? So we know that let's say in CST we have the copper subtract and another copper here. Right. Okay, so we need to check on our subtract value. Okay, so let's say. So we click on FR4, you can see it's at 4.3. For the detail, we need to go to the material here and double click on the FR4. And we check on FR4 as well as 4.3. And the tangent loss is 0 0.025 at 10 gigahertz. Okay, then we will define this in ADS as well. So first we will this set for the copper. So we know its material is copper. Copper. And we're going to say it's like 0 0.035 mm. And then here is fine now. And the copper here, same 0 0.035. Also mm. Careful with the mm. And here will be the subshell for the FR4 in the middle here. So we will click on FR4. But the value is 4.6. So we can change it here. Let's say 4.3 just now and 0 0.025 follow the ADS here okay so next done and then we can click on here is like 10 gigahertz at 10 gigahertz so click on apply and okay okay done so our thickness is 1.6 mm okay so we're done for this and then you need to click on save so they will save your subscribe Okay, so then go to the cell again. So you can see your FR4 is here now. And this one is your copper and copper. Actually, it's like 0 0.035. This one, we put 0. 
Okay, so done. And we can run for the simulation now. Oh, before this, we need to set for the output, generate all frequency, then only you can view in the far view later. So we just simulate it, then wait for a while. Uh, it's running. Simulate until 3 gigahertz, then they will automatically pop out the result. Okay, once it's done, the result will pop out. So then this. Okay, now you have your S11. So you can put a marker and check, is it? So it's 2.49. Later we will adjust to become 2.45. Uh, so this one is the face. So if you don't want to look at the face, you can delete it and then put like the smith chart. And then choose S11 and OK. And you can put a marker to here. So it's 2.49. Okay, but you can see it's a zero point three uh, nine five nine because it's like normalized. So you can click on here. You can choose the format. Okay, no, it's fifty ohm. That means uh, without normalized. So okay, and you can get it like forty seven point nine seven three. It's almost near with fifty ohm. Okay, so it's good. So then next will be the two D far field. Okay, so you can click on the far field for 3D and the surface color. You just click on here, they will automatically generate the far field view and the current surface. So you can click here and then they will pop up with this. Okay, once you have this, and then you can click on like and to show something design here. And also you click on the solution setup, choose 2.9 because our simulation now we get a return loss. Good signal is 2.9 and then the plot then you can click on db and you see changing here okay and then click on animate so you can see the radiation okay and then you also can increase the phase if you want to move it faster then you can put that like NT. yeah okay so done for this then you can go for like far field to check all the antenna parameter so you can get your gain is like 1.2 and your e field, okay, all the data is here. And then if you want to plot the result, the gain according to the frequency. So you can click on the display here. Then they will take, generate this for you. Okay, this one is with the arrow. So if you don't want this, you can just like double click on the arrow and then choose in here. Okay, press OK, and you have over the frequency. So we'll stem as in CST, you also have something like this. 1 giga until 3 giga for the gain over the whole frequency. So we know our frequency that we want is 2.45. So we get like roughly here, it's like 2 gigahertz. And for in ADS, you will get something here as well, it's like 1 point something. The gain is follow the value here, 1.29. Okay, so for another one, if you want to view for the 2D and the polar for the far view, so you can click on far view cut here and then make it zero okay, because it's directional and then display the cut. Okay, so you have something like this. Okay, so this one is, looks like the result in far view here. Okay. So that's all for how to design your ADS using uh, design your patch antenna using ADS. You also can like archive this file will be something like here. You need to go and file and archive it. Then it will become you, you must take everything and then yes, then it will save to dot seven stack ADS. So next, yeah, you can see they will save to this file. Then this one will be like include all your workspace uh, document and then they will save in this dot seven set ADS file. And then once you finish, then when you are to unarchive, then you just unarchive it. Okay, so for tuning your and patch antenna, you can go to the layout here. Okay, let's say you want to tune to like become lower frequency. Okay, maybe we can do some Changing here, let's say 2.55. Then the length. 
25.55 to 25.5 okay so we created then we simulate it again just wait for a while overwrite the result wait it simulate until 3 gigahertz okay so once done then we can move the marker let's check okay it's near to 2.44 so you can adjust a bit then they will become like 2.45 so i think you can click it 2.45 yeah will be somewhere here so it's neg below negative 10 so consider it's still good and here we can just click on here we can make it like 2.45 so yeah it's not as like 50 ohm but it's nearby so try to add, tune it and then make it like 2.45 according to the uh, requirement okay so that's all for how to design patient data in using ADS thank you